Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to part 25 of my Empire Total War campaign controlling the Mar Maratha Confederacy and here we are in India. If you remember from last time we did take Calcutta, Bengal and that was a bloody good battle in the end. It took about three attempts that we got there and now we're going to be looking to take out Mysore. I think this will probably be the end of the campaign once Mysore are gone. They have one really large army here which we need to look out for only have five units in the settlement but it depends how many garrisons they they spawn as well and of course we have our units which are recruited in here, got a lot of cannons here and we get some more another unit of line infantry and end turn um, and go through this as quickly as I can and get to the battles but I can't see this campaign go much longer now once my Zord defeated that's it, unless Persia of course swoop in with a massive horde and take some of my provinces away from, away from me but I can't see that we're allies with them I think we're certainly trading with them so you know that's not going to happen I would have thought and yeah this campaign will be over so been enjoying it and it'll be great to finally say that I've completed a total war campaign on YouTube full campaign from part one to the final part and that gives me motivation then to go on and continue with other campaigns so yeah it's been great, it's been good and I can't wait now to, to see the conclusion of this great campaign but we are bankrupt <laughs> it's a great uh, way to finish the end turn, we are in fact bankrupt we do have some more units in various other places Hyderabad has a couple of units which we can use which I'll probably bring two of these up, Hyderabad don't mind that so we'll start bringing some of our troops out now I think take three cannons here as well uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bring these eight up what's this army looking like, it's looking pretty strong <laughs> I almost feel sorry for my zoo I'm only joking, I never feel sorry um, bring this guy here, I do have a general somewhere don't I I'm gonna bring some elephants as well because that's the kind of person I am. Actually, can I bring my general out? Yep, they're not happy. They don't mind me bringing my general away. My general's going to meet up with this army as well. Um, we can't recruit any more, don't think so. Bring one more unit out from Bijapur. That's going to be one army which I'll use to attack once my general meets up with them. Second army being built here. What we got here? Got loads of units up here, just not doing anything. So. These are going to come down. It'll take me, well, one, two, three more turns to get here. We have four units there, cannon plus three infantry. To make, to join up with this army, I should have... I would think I'd have enough to do this. So we'll enter in again. I'm going to see what happens. We have spent too much money and the upkeep for your... Uh, unless you attack the laser. Units disbanded. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I could probably disband a couple of my units in some of these territories. Uh, generals there. Uh, I, mean, I don't really want to disband units, but I kind of know I have to because that's the situation I got myself in. I'm going to merge these troops. Um, merge these. A little bit of merging doesn't hurt every now and again. These ones as well. Merge. Um, matter of fact, easier just doing it like that. There you go. All these units are merged to create near full units now. By doing that, I might save a little bit of money, a little bit of funds. Um, just quickly go through the provinces. It's going to be a bit boring, so I do apologise. Have to bear with me. Just trying to reduce some of my funds put these two together I hope they won't go together for some reason oh, that is strange doesn't matter in the north how are we doing see so yeah, I got quite yeah I got yellow uh, public order in some of these places but that's because I've exempted them from tax if I had more money I could actually uh, there we go I'll enter now it's not perfect but it will do for now so yeah, um, this part would probably see me start my war with Mysore 
and maybe we'll get a battle in this part. I hope we do. And who knows, depending on how things go, I might even be able to complete the campaign in this part. But I, I'll probably try to do two more parts, probably this part and the part after. Depending, of course, on how the battles go. I haven't been doing too well, as you all know lately, in this campaign. It took me three attempts to get Bengal, so my battling hasn't gone too well. And that's something I need to improve for my future campaigns. Alliance broken between Britain and Austria. Doesn't affect me at all. War declared between Austria and Ottomans. Still doesn't affect me. Some more units recruited. That's probably why I'm suffering from my funds because I've been recruiting more units. Um, can't remember where they said those units come from. Right, bring my general up here. Let's press on with this campaign. Oh, Khan, Khan, this, uh, this, this place, I think they said units recruited. Uh, um, do I need as many units here? Um, keep public order up for me as well. Uh, this army is going to be moved down to here. I want to make sure I have enough units to be able to do this properly. Can I actually take this army out in public order be okay? I can, in fact, that's good. Take them out already. Got two cannons plus loads and loads of infantry. Uh, this settlement can be taken fairly easily. This army, just bring them up slightly. They're going to go for Goa, this army is. That's going to be the main army we're going to have to deal with from there. But this one's going to swoop in from there. Uh, we're still, we should probably check our, our trade where we're actually losing our funds from. Those probably were total income from taxes, but we're spending way too much. Now I see if I do that, it would bring more money in, but I can't really lower anything. It's mad to think that I've been getting by on taxes being that low. Sure, it can be disbanded, I think. So, I want to check recruitment quickly. See if, if I'm recruiting anywhere. I wouldn't have thought I would have been, but still useful to check, just in case. Calcutta, Bengal. Yeah, I think I've probably recruited everything I need to recruit. I will enter in again. Give my army a chance to get down there. To link up with the rest of the force. And then I can wage my war on my sword. That does kind of rhyme. Won't be kind of rapper though, so don't worry. <laughs> and I, I am thinking that maybe um, I might try a let's play, although it won't be too long, um, of me trying to do the total war achievement, the steam achievement for Rome Two. I was reading the other day on the forums, people going on about it. Nobody's actually got the achievement. Now, I don't think I'll get the achievement by any means, but. I still think it'd be quite entertaining for me to try and, you know, at least have a go on YouTube. Pick a faction, put on, whack the difficulty right up to Legendary and actually try to... Bring this army forward. Actually try to, um, well, win. <laughs> we can actually recruit some more units here. So we have, what, just over half a stack. Plus four makes it to about 15. We do have another unit here, I don't know why I don't have unit there, let's play them there. Um, how many more turns? I'd love to get some more artillery. We have no cavalry at all, I don't intend to use cavalry. Um, and we have well, nearly a full stack here. I can probably take my other cannons there. Probably better if I recruit another two Hindu musketeers, and turn and then we go straight for my zone. So yeah, like I was saying, um, on the Total War forums, I was reading people going on about the Total War achievement. Now, what it was, was that somebody had said that they've seen on their Steam achievements, somebody, I don't know who it is, actually got the achievement. Now, it turns out that this was false. This was somebody who was a hacker and had actually hacked the achievement on his Steam profile. And it made it look like that he was the only person in the world to actually achieve the, this is Total War achievement. Now, the achievement actually is declaring war on every nation 
you come across the turn you actually meet that nation and complete the campaign successfully. So it would be a very interesting <laughs> um, thing to attempt. I wouldn't be successful by any means. I'm not really a good player <laughs> when it comes to Total War games. As you can probably tell by how long it took me to take Bengal up there. But it'd still be a nice idea to try and, I don't know, try and achieve something. Or at least attempt to achieve something. I'm going to declare war now on Goa. Or might as well, I should say, declare war. They got no allies. I don't want you to trade or your alliance anymore. Just me, VU. Thank you very much. Oh, we're going to win this one straight away. Um, okay, demand surrender. I, I indeed can. There we go. And we've captured Goa, which means that we are almost, almost going to be completing this campaign. So I'm going to end turn. And it looks like this could be the very last. Oh, I've got an achievement. Speaking of steam achievements, per Fidias Beast. Oh, would Spain want trade? They want technology. I don't care about you, Spain, so I'll accept that. It's all well and good. <laughs> oh, Prussia. They want trade as well. They demand I pay them 2000 Jesus Christ. I will counter that. Um, I do like your tone, so I shall give you some money. Not much, but it will have to do a thousand. How about that? <laughs> you ungrateful bastards. Jesus, God alive. They are, they want 2,000 off me. I offer them 1,000. I'm still giving them trade and I'm still giving them technology and they still refuse it. You Prussian bastards. That's all I can say to you. Stupid Prussians. Anyway, um, I can't remember what I was talking about. The damn Prussians confuse me. What are Maizo going to do here? Maizo are running around the countryside not knowing what they are doing. Oh, they actually. I can see what they're doing. They're actually going to build up their army. Enemy raids. Uh, I don't care about raiding. We are bankrupt. I know we're bankrupt. It's my own fault. Does not matter at all. We are going to try to take my soul. And we're going to be in store for a bloody battle. And I think I will see you all on the battle map. And here we are on the battle map. And I'm about to set up my troops. So there's the settlement over there. I have four cannons, which I will group up, and I will stick them in a decent range, I'd say about here. Should have decent enough range along here, like so. I have all this line infantry, I finally have decent troops. It's taken what? How many turns? Too many. What am I doing? I just grouped up some units there, and I will group up these. We'll go with one big line behind the mountain side over here. I can just put them into group formation. Like so. Stretch them out a little bit. Where are they going? But they take my second line down south. Put them in the Oh, where are you going? Do a proper line like so. Stretch them out to the wall. To the window. To the wall. I don't know if that's the right song. <laughs> Oh my god, just sharp now. Um, here we go. End turn, end turn, end deployment, and we can begin with my cannons raining fire down on my enemies. And for some reason, these these cannons are not in range, so I've messed up already. Oh, maybe I haven't. One of them's firing anyway. Oh, I have an unlimited them. <laughs> I have an unlimited them, that's why. I forgot they got different car their cannons, the others are actually proper artillery, so. I will begin by unlimbering all my artillery. I've actually ungrouped this unit by here, it doesn't matter though. It really doesn't matter. We're just going to unlimber them and hope for the best. The good thing is I can actually move these closer. So my, my main aim is to try and bombard them with my units. I'm going to actually bring up this line. We're going to try and flank around to about here. Try and take the right flank, try and go over the wall. Let my cannons start doing damage to them now. We can actually focus these cannons on some of these units, which would probably be the best thing for me to do. Do plenty of damage. I got so much cannon fire now. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's like finally I have something. Oh my god, I think I've destroyed that building. I've nearly destroyed the building. So yeah, oh my god, look at this cluster. <laughs> I'm going to actually be cruel and march one of my cannons down now, just to take out that unit. Uh, with my cannon. I'm going to unlimber these. I'm going to march them down to say. This little mount back here. 
just so they're in range for that big clusterfuck of units because for some reason the AI thinks it's smart to, to merge everybody together. Oh my god, this is like the I gotta bring my cannons down. I got to to win the campaign like this would be brilliant. So I'm gonna bring the cannons right down to here. While the rest of my cannons do the hard work firing upon the wall, we we will be destroying the wall soon. We'll get them all to get all three of these to fire on this wall, try and take out the enemy. And I think I can start by bringing my second line, my main line, actually. I don't really want to bring them down without firing on me already, though. Um, I've not lost too many units, though. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer to at least breach the wall first. The wall. All in the north. What lies beyond the wall? <laughs> Game of Thrones uh, fan. Big fan of Game of Thrones. House Stark all the way. Just Paul Rob Stark and Red Wedding. <laughs> Just talking in talking random randomness today. Today, yeah. Can't get a word up properly tonight. It's so tired. I'm recording this and it's like uh, let me check the time. About eleven o'clock, so I'm doing this just before I go to bed. So yeah, I do apologize. My performance isn't quite up to standard. Oh, that wall is gonna be gone soon. How many enemies are taking out? One there. Not many here. We're doing okay though. Just, just gonna completely bombard the enemy. Oh, they're still on range. You know what, it doesn't matter. We're going to aim for them anyway. Whatever else we take beforehand, it's going to be a positive anyway. I'm going to actually speed this battle up a bit because this will take a while. So I'll fast forward now as my cannons fire. I'm not going to put any men forward yet because I want to win this battle. I don't want to throw men away stupidly. Um. Oh, we destroyed the wall. Right, so that's the one thing. I think we destroyed some of the unit probably as well. Oh, no, we haven't quite. Okay, it doesn't matter. What we will do now is we will bring these two units, we'll unlimber them both. We're going to bring them, once they unlimber, even closer to the action. So they're going to go down to about here. I'm going to be quite ambitious. Bring them all forward when they become available to me. Here we go, I got this one unit unlimbered. Bring them down to about there. This unit is limbered by the looks of things. Um, I want to unlimber these. Is that wrong? Doesn't matter. Does not matter at all. Now it's time to bring the main line into action, so 